Got a couple of kangaroos loose in the top paddock, i.e. you've got some blocks in your CAD drawing that aren't behaving the way you want them to. Here's an example of that. So you've got this block here that's repeated many times at the top of a fence. It's on layer 25 and by layer, but its color's not changing. Well, that's because inside that block, it's not on layer zero and it's not by layer or by block. It's actually on a layer called notation and magenta. Now you can change that by doing the ref edit, which I just did, which is the double click and putting it on layer zero, which is the special layer in AutoCAD and making it by block. So we've done that. Now what's the difference between by layer and by block? Well, by block gives you the option of inheriting the colors and entities of the, or the color and what we're talking about here of the layer, but it also gives you the option of overriding an individual one so that you could have that one as red for example and you could which is still on layer 35 so both of those are there on layer 35 but their colors vary because they're by block now that's one way of fixing it now I've got another way of fixing it with a really cool lisp routine that I've used for years and years and it still works and it's great because what often happens is you've got lots of blocks in your drawing and you want to uh, fix many of them. So that, that ref edit way is a very slow way of fixing it. So app load command was just input it, go to fix block, load that, and I just type in F fix block. And what fix block does is just make things go all by block. So a really great little command there.